don't take this thing for granted, man. Like this body, man. Okay, you got five senses. I want to center on and talk about what's called your emotions. Your five senses is what connects you to the dimensions. People always ask me, well, how do I know? 1D, 2D, 3D, 4D, whatever. How do I know which dimension I'm in? Well, it depends on which sense that you're working with. You have to learn how to work with your senses. And many of us now, because of the internet, are deactivating what's called our our uh, sense of touch because everything is being viewed virtually. And don't get me wrong, you're still viewing the images through your iris virtually, but this is a limitation. It blocks you away from what's called the sixth dimension. So your feelings and how you feel about something, this is what connects you to the sixth dimension. They want to negate you in the matrix and tell you that when you feel something or a certain way about something, you should suppress your emotions. When, if you would begin to explore why you're feeling a certain way and try to remedy it, you would shift to another dimension automatically. You might find yourself in a better situation than you've ever been. See, the problem is, is that in the matrix, most of the time we do what we have to do. That's right, we do what we have to do usually. And we're programmed to do it. Nobody's telling you to do it. You you program yourself to do it. Every day you feel like, I have to do this. I have to do that. This is because you're blocked from the sixth dimension. You are blocked from what's called your feelings. Had you had a connection with the sixth dimension, you would be able to move through various experiences, various life experiences that may take you 60 and 70 years within a short period of time so that we can advance and shift your connection to the grid. So I'm going to just say this. Monitor your feelings. Be aware of taking on other people's energy. A lot of the ways that you feel is not you. You don't feel that way. You're taking on someone else's energy. Learn to take time by yourself for periods of time throughout the day. You don't have to spend it all day by yourself, but learn to take a period of time where you shut your phone off and everything like that. And you just sit with your own energy so that you can recalibrate and repair and reheal yourself. Because many dimensions we can't get to and through unless we re repair ourselves and we recalibrate our emotions, meaning that you won't never make it to that dimension unless you heal. There are certain dimensions you will never see unless you heal certain health problems that you have with yourself and certain problems that really aren't yours. These are a simply, this is simply you taking on other people's energy. You got sick with that virus because you was taking on people's energy. You got sick with the flu because you was taking on people's energy. You got sick with cancer because you was taking on people's energy. When you learn how to go within yourself and pre-program yourself, you will find that you can create a, a, a whole nother life on the sixth dimension through your emotions. That's right. Through your emotions and through your connection with people that you are emotionally connected to. And through severing some of those ties that you have negative connections to and learning how to heal certain cords that you have connections to with people. And then from there, you can begin to interface with higher dimensions. Food for thought. Stay visible.